Hello everyone, welcome to Just Gigi. We are at Bear Mountain, one of the known and best peaks in New York Highlands. There are so much to do here, but today we are going for a sunset hike in Bear Mountain. Enjoy! Sunset Hike is a very popular hike that offers incredible views and one of the best out of many hikes in Bear Mountain. As the sun descends below the horizon, creating romantic shades of colors, the world has a chance to breathe in and rejuvenate. And it's hard to explain the happiness of seeing the surrounding area candy-colored in the glow of sunset. Bear Mountain State Park is situated in Rug Mountains rising from the west bank of the Hudson River. The park features a large play field, shaded picnic groves, lake and river fishing access, a swimming pool, trailside museums and zoo, hiking, biking and cross-country ski trails. This natural splendor in the Hudson Valley offers year-round activities for the entire family. It's a lovely place with lots to see and do. For the sunset hike, we will be hopping on the Major Wolves Trail all the way up that starts on the west side of Hessian Lake. We will pass the popular Bear Mountain Inn on our way. On our left, you can see across the field to the awesome carousel building. Straight ahead, you will see the junction where several trails converge. This junction marks the start of our loop for the day. We will be hiking the Major Wolves Trail to Ascent Bear Mountain and coming back down on the Appalachian Trail. Enjoy the views of Hessian Lakes as you amble along the paved path to its left. There are several lookout points on your way to the trailhead which is almost at the end of the Hessian Lake. Enjoying views across the lake to Anthony's Nose and the top of the Bear Mountain Bridge. You will be also rewarded with the views of several water birds. We will stroll along this relatively flat fade path for just over 0.5 miles. The hike will also take you to Perkins Memorial Tower, but we are going to a spot known as the Moon Rock, which is about 2 miles from here. We are going to follow the red circle on White Place until it merged to the Appalachian Trail on the top. Let's get started. Say goodbye to the easy living. Time to get some workout. Over the next mile and a half, we will climb about 1200 feet. The trail immediately becomes steep and rocky. In about 10 minutes, we will hop across a stream. This is a phenomenal hike with fun rock clambering, multiple wonderful views, and some of the most insane trail work I have ever seen. These stone steps must have taken many gallons of elbow grease to build. About 20 minutes fast, we will arrive at my favorite stretch of trail, with several steep, open rock faces to traverse. This is one of the most difficult climbs I have done so far. Make sure you have the proper gears to climb these rock slabs, especially good hiking boots that has good grips. From here, you are climbing some rock slabs with 1200 feet of elevation and some parts it's almost straight up. We are not even halfway there, but let's take a peek at how much we climbed so far. Wow! At this point, you will immediately get treated with the majestic view of the mountain.
As we continue our journey, we have to be very careful climbing these rocks so we don't fall off the cliffs. Just a few minutes beyond the rock slabs, we will emerge onto our first viewpoint of the day, which is about the midpoint of our hike. This is where most hikers take a break and take in the magnificent view up the Hudson to the north, along with a glimpse at the Bear Mountain Bridge. An awesome view of the majestic Hudson River Valley, as well as nearby Harriman State Park and Anthony Snow Peak. Look at the colors created by the glow of the sun. It's almost time for the sunset. We have to keep moving so we can reach to our destination before the sunset. We are only halfway through. As we continue our journey, we can also get a hint of the mountain through the trees. Less than 10 minutes after the first viewpoint and after some more climbing, the trail crosses Perkins Memorial Drive Highway and we continue to pick up the trail again. After some more climbing, we arrived at a junction with the Blue Blaze Trail. From this junction, our vertical climbing is pretty much done. This is where all three trails meet, the Major Wells Trail, the Blue Trail, and the Appalachian Trail. If we turn left here toward a big boulder away from the Blue Trail to continue on the Major Wells Trail, we will reach at the Perkins Memorial Tower. You could also view the sunset from the tower, but we are not going to Perkins Memorial Tower today. We are going to the Moon Rock where we feel more closer to the sun and the best view of the mountain and its valley. So we are continuing our journey through the Appalachian Trail which is the White Square Trail and we are making a right turn here where we will reach our second viewpoint of the day. We will continue on the Appalachian Trail to the Moon Rock. Here we are at the Moon Rock. Hikers call it the Moon Rock because it looks like it was formed from the cooling of lava. It is not an official name for this spot. The sun is almost ready to set. From this viewpoint, it feels like we are on the top of the world and more closer to the sun with the majestic views of the mountain, Hudson River Valley, as well as nearby Harriman State Park. I can stay here and watch this incredible view all day. This is one of the reasons why I do this hike at least once a week. When we return from here, we will continue on the Appalachian Trail by following the White Blaze Square Trail. There are about 1000 stone steps between us and the end of the loop and we will be back where we started. At some point of that journey, it will be pitch dark, but we are prepared for that with the headlamp.
Here is the closer look of the valley at early spring. The views of Queensboro and Turkey Hill Lakes, Route 6, and the Seven Lakes Drive. Okay, let us focus on the sunset now. Sunsets are proof that no matter what happens, every day can end beautifully. It's so beautiful that it almost seems as if we are looking through the gates of heaven. And this moment is also a wonderful opportunity for us to appreciate all the great things the sun gives us. It's like Mahatma Gandhi once said, When I admire the wonder of sunset or the beauty of the moon, my soul expands in worship of the Creator. And to me, sunset is also the opening music of the night. And look at the colors created by the glow of the sun. Isn't it incredible? And here is the more closer look and the time lapse of the sunset that we just witnessed. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and for more information, please visit JustGG.com or JustGG YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.